So hi and welcome to another video and if you wanted to know if you should use a sleeve on gaming then this is the place to find the answer. We have three sleeves to review with different materials and I'm also going to explain to you quickly some of the benefits of using a sleeve to help you decide if you're going to use one going forward. So if you're not familiar with the channel and you're new here, welcome. This channel provides you with all the data and statistics to get the competitive edge over your rival gamers here using like latency tests and things like that in mice reviews. Go check out those videos if you haven't already. So why do you want a gaming sleeve? This is a big question a lot of people have been asking this and I asked myself it. A few people were telling me to use them and I finally have and I don't think I'm going to go back to not using a sleeve. One of the problems I was having in summer is my arm sticking to my desk. I've had this for years but it gives an inconsistent glide and that can really irritate you when you're trying to aim, especially if you use quite a bit of an arm to do that. What a sleeve does is it gives you more of a consistent glide so it makes sure your aim is always consistent even in hot weather or if you've just got a sticky surface that you're gaming on here. One of the problems is if you have a rough surface, so these can snag on say like a splinter surface of a wooden desk. So you have to make sure you've got a pretty smooth surface for these sleeves to work on. I found that these work the best in the summer or in a hot climate. I live in the UK, so it can be quite cold and doesn't generally irritate me, but when it gets really hot, my arm starts to sweat or get a little bit warm. It starts to stick on the surface. And I was finding that it was pulling my aim. It was being difficult to be consistent. I was using more of my wrist and the sleeve here has enabled me to use my arm. So the question is here, is, is one going to be good for you? Well, I would say if your arm's sticking on the surface and you want more of a consistent glide, you should definitely look at a sleeve. I'm gonna go through three different sleeves now here, give you an idea which one might be best for you. Just stick around while we do that. So is the sleeve for you? Well, that's personal. Maybe some of the answers will be in these reviews here of the, of the different ones here, and that'll help you decide whether you fancy using one or not. I'll put some links in the description for all these products so you can go and have a look and buy them if you wish. Or you can take a look at other sleeves, there's plenty out there that take your fancy. These are the three that I decided to review. So the black one here is a smooth spandex on one side and a cotton on the other side. I wanted to try and get a decision of what it's like to have two different surfaces on one. I found that this is a tight sleeve for me, there was no slack in it. You're also at the top, it has like a rubber band inside it that grips your arm really well so it stops it sliding down as long as your arm is big enough for it to expand a little bit. And this sleeve pretty much covered my entire arm all the way up to my shoulder. If anything, for me, for me, it was probably a little bit long, but you could always roll it down. The glide, while well, this thing glided very well on the surface, I'm using a laminated desk here, which is like a plastic lamination, and it glided with no problems whatsoever on the spandex side. What I didn't like, though, was the cotton side, and I found it particularly annoying with a stitched edge pad, which is one of the reasons why I don't like stitched edge pads, although I'm using one here. i done a review for this, go check it out. But I found the actual sleeve itself, especially with this cotton surface, did snag on the edge on the spandex side, the smooth side, perfectly fine though. Another question people want to know is, does it get a sweaty arm in the summer? And for me, not at all. I was in 37, 38, maybe up to 40 degree heat in this room. And I was having no problems with sweating arms. My arm was sweating, obviously, but the sleeves here are designed to absorb that. And that continued a smooth glide. No issues there from that point of view. My arm also didn't get too hot. Style, while it's black, it's understated. Black's always good. Is it easy to wash? Yes, you can wash these, no problem. So moving on to the next one, which is a tattoo one, which I think looks the coolest. This is a mixture of spandex and nylon. There's no switchable side on this. It's all around the entire sleeve here. This is a snug fit for me, but it's not too tight, this one. It has an elasticated top and bottom here, which grip onto your arm. This one goes more to the standard t-shirt height here of my arm. It doesn't go all the way up to my shoulder, so I prefer this one as well in terms of comfort. And this is one that I personally use all the time at the moment. What's the glide like? Silky smooth, consistent glide with this one, no problems. Also doesn't snag on a stitched edge pad here. This one is very good. Breathes well, my arm doesn't sweat. Again, in summer, this one's perfectly fine. In fact, this is one of the reasons why I decided to do this video because I think this is probably useful for people to realize. These are, do have some benefit, especially in hot climates. The style, well, this one looks the coolest. Most people think I've actually got a real tattoo when I've got it on. I don't have any tattoos, but it does look really good. This one, there's plenty of different styles out there if you've got a bit of a different tattoo taste, but it looks really good and it's easy to wash. So the final one is this white one. This is a mixture of nylon, silk, and elastatane. This one fits really, really tight. In fact, it's too tight for my arm. I don't particularly like it. And it's tight on the upper and lower for me. This is a very long sleeve as well, and it goes my full length of my arm. So again, I don't particularly like that. And this is the least one, if you haven't realized, that I like so far. Glide-wise, well, it's smooth, but it snags really badly because it's kind of like a nylon-y cotton material. It feels much slower also than the other two sleeves here, and I just don't like the way it feels at all. My arm, again, snags on edge-stitched mice pads here, so slightly annoying again as well. 
sweat wise this feels a little bit thicker as well it's not thin it does breathe but it feels like my arm gets really really hot this is probably one for the winter when you're on your bike or something like that rather than gaming and this one for me wasn't the one to go with style wise it's white white looks cool anyway but it does get dirty really fast so probably not the one i picked you want to keep having to wash it but it is easy to wash if you do so i hope this video has been useful for you something a little bit different here if you haven't seen my other videos, you definitely want to check them out. I did one recently on a fully modded G Pro wireless. We're a limited edition one here. I've changed the encoder, I've changed the switches so it's got better clicks and I took some weight out of it as well. Put a link in the description for that. I'll be doing some new reviews very soon. I've got a 3D printed mouse review coming up from Piranha who sent me that. I've also got the MP01 from Zygon to review and I've also got a Beardy Bob custom painted mouse, Razor Viper from Leonardo de Mouse, I'm going to check out and I'll do some more videos very soon. So until next time, I'll catch you later. Bye bye.